to GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Why men like John Wesley, Charles Finney? One standout aspect of their lives is consecration and commitment to God. Welcome, dear Royals, to another captivating episode with us at the GCK King's Circle, where young intellectuals are equipped, trained, and they're empowered to thrive in an ever changing world. I'm your host for today, Femi. And I'm your co host, Hope. Dr. W.F. Kumi, mentioned earlier, embodies transparency and serves as a shining example for you today. He's also the convener of the GCK Kings Circle. In today's episode, we delve into the significance of genuine consecration in Christian life. Before then, let's worship God in a heartfelt worship section led by Noble Gospel Artists. And I won't bow to idols, I'll stand strong and worship you. And if it puts me through the fire, I'll rejoice cause you're there too. I won't be formed by feelings, I'll hold fast to what is true. If the cross brings transformation, then I'll be crucified with you. God's death is just a doorway into resurrection life. And if I join you in your suffering, then I'll join you in you rise. And when you return in glory with all the angels ever say, my heart will still be singing, my song will be the same. We're looking for Samuel chapter 2, for Samuel chapter 2, and I'm reading here from verse 12. This is Samuel now, he lived in a dirty environment, he lived in a polluted environment, he lived in a degraded environment, and yet, he came out strong and came out pure and came out holy and came out righteous and came out a real man of God. Whatever your condition may be, well, this is where they put me and this is where they're hiding me. Wherever it is, they put you. Wherever it is, they're hiding you. You're going to come out even to the place of success in Jesus' name. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 12. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 12, it says, And now the sons of Eli were sons of and then it says, and they knew not the Lord. That's where Samuel grew up. He grew up in the midst of backsliding people. He grew up in the midst of um, sinful people. He grew up in the midst of defiled and dirty people. But it wasn't dirty like them, like the white lady that grows around uh, out of the dirty mud. And yet, he clean life. Your life will be clean. A pure life, your life will be pure. Look at verse 26, and the child Samuel grew on. And he was in favor both with the Lord and also with him. In favor with God and in favor with men. I'm sure you've heard about the story of Samuel, that young child. What we learn about him, number one, he was comforted. He was comforted. That's what we wish and that's what we desire. That's what we pray for all our youth, for all our boys and girls, all our sons and our daughters. Comforted. He was consecrated to you, consecrated, committed to the Lord. He was consistent. And then it was incorruptible, incorruptible. All the dirty environment, all the defiled environment couldn't make him dirty, couldn't make him compromise, and couldn't make him do anything that was evil. And God spoke to him and God raised him up a prophet. God will raise you up. Young men, God will raise you up. And young daughters, God will raise you up. What was spoken about Samuel? How about Daniel? We know Daniel. Daniel chapter 1. In Daniel chapter 1, I'm reading here a verse you know very well, and this verse will be true of you. It was true of Daniel, it will be true of you. And look at it in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not define himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the priest of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. That he might not defile himself. We get to school and we see defilement all around. 
we'll go to college and we'll see defilement all around. We're at the university, we'll see defilement from the top to the bottom and from the ivory tower to the grassroots. We'll see defilement there, but you are going there like a Daniel. You get into Babylon, but all those pollutions in Babylon will not affect you in Jesus' name. Because, number one, it was uncompromising, uncompromising. Our young people, they're growing up in the Lord. They're growing up in the righteousness of Christ. They're not going to compromise in Jesus' name. And then, they were, uh, Daniel was uncommon, uncommon. He wasn't a person that, like, like every dick and Harry. He singled himself out. He was unique. Everywhere I go, I'll be unique. I said, everywhere I go, I'll be unique. You'll be like that in Jesus' name. And then you see that he was unconquerable. He was unconquerable. He will not conquer your spirit. He will not conquer your soul. He will not conquer your conviction. He will not conquer your heart in Jesus' name. Daniel chapter 6, I'm reading from verses 3 and 4. Daniel chapter 6. When you came at him from verses 3 and 4, yeah, it tells us then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. And then the presidents and the princes sought to find occasion against this Daniel and concerning the kingdom. But they could find none occasion no fault for as much as he was faithful neither was there any error or fault found in him it will be it will be like that with you i'm coming to jeremiah now jeremiah chapter one in jeremiah chapter one here was uh, somebody young too and the lord spoke to him and the lord called him just like you know speaking to our young people today and the lord will make you as firm as fiery as faithful as this uh, Jeremiah in Jesus name it says in verse in verse 4 then the word of the Lord came unto me saying therefore before I found thee in the belly I knew thee God bless you and before thou camest forth out of this out of the world I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations then said I am Lord God behold I cannot speak for I am a child not I was, but I am a child. Even at that time, when the Lord was calling uh, Jeremiah, he was still young. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I say, I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Are you there? I said, Are you there? And as you go to do what the Lord has called you to do, you will succeed in Jesus' name. You are going to school, you are going to succeed there. Going to college, you are going to succeed there. Now on your way to university, you are going to succeed there. You are going for your studies, you are going to succeed there. You come out and you are holding a job, you are going to succeed there. And of course, you are going to have a great impact on this church. And you are going to have a great ministry in this church, in Jesus' name. Who am I talking about there? Raise up that hand and receive everything the Lord has for you today. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Receive your salvation. Receive your security. Receive your sanctification. Receive the protection. Receive the provision of the Lord. And receive the fulfillment of the destiny in your life in Jesus' name. Now they arose. Take a moment to reflect. Having lost your consecration along the way, have become complacent running in vain. This is an opportunity to redeem yourself and reaffirm your consecration. Remember, consecration is a continuous process of obedience, vigilance, and surrender. Join us tomorrow for another amazing episode of the GCK King Circle. Be a war changer for Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King's Circle.